back. If you'd like to learn how to get this ventriloquist dummy makeup, um, then just keep watching. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I've been joined by, um, I'm going to call this Bertie, and there's one here as well, and that's um, Eric. Bertie and Eric, um, but the makeup is going to cover that hopefully. So, first off, we start with again the um, the white face paint. I'm just going to squirt it on the back of my hand. This time, I'm going to try it with a sponge to see if I can get it a bit more even and not have to put as much on my face. So, oh, there's a hair. That's nice. So I'm just going to dab the sponge in. Ugh. Oh, that's better. Ah. I'm definitely going to have to wash my uh, beauty blender after I've done this. So how has everybody been? Um, the reason I've not... Well, been to the caravan this weekend with Jay. Um, my auntie's got a caravan in Wales and I was going to vlog it but my um, mental health hasn't been up to scratch recently. I don't know why. The thing is that I've been feeling um, is basically I feel anxious all the time and um, depressed and then but I know I haven't got anything to be anxious about or anything to be depressed about so I kind of feel like I don't deserve to feel like that and I've been taking my tablets like I always do I take a tablet every day every night really um, maybe I should start taking them in the morning I don't know but it's usually when I get back like towards the end of the day at work and when I get back but Jay said it might be something to do there's like a coffee machine at work um, and I was having like two of the espresso chocolates, which are like, that's like the closest to mocha, a mocha that I could find. And really, mochas and flavoured lattes are the only thing that I like coffee wise. But I feel like I need a coffee in the morning to uh, wake me up kind of thing. Oh, it's a bit patchy, but it doesn't matter. Carry on. Um, to wake me up. So I thought, oh, the, like it's a machine and it's free. And I didn't really think much of it. I'd just have one or two a day. And it'd wake me up. And then towards the end of the day, I'd just start feeling really anxious. And I was just like, I don't know what's up with me. Like, I really enjoy what I'm doing at my job. Um, I mean, the girls that... I've started with they're just incredible I love them so much like I can tell that they're gonna be some of my best friends hopefully if they like me as well as much um yeah I can tell that they're gonna be some of my best friends so like I've got nothing to be anxious about at work like I've never felt as happy going into work like usually a lot of the time like I know I've not nobody like loves 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 the job why am i so white there we go nobody loves 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 the job like unless you've got your dream job nobody's like obsessed with the job are they really um so but it's nothing to do with that i like i like my job i like where i work i like the people who i work with um i'm still in training at the minute and it's it is difficult like for somebody who's never done anything with mortgages before it is difficult, uh, but the girls there and the trainers are really helpful and oh no, she's got face paint all over my pyjama bottoms. Um, yeah, they're really helpful and we're all helping each other and like helping each other get through all the difficult things. Um, but I just, I don't know, I don't know what's up with me. And like depression wise, I haven't got anything depressed about, like, I've got the best boyfriend in the world who I love more than anything. Um, I've got an amazing family. I mean, there's been issues with the family, like, not bad issues, like, health-wise, that's been worrying me. Um, 
Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, that's been worrying me. But Jay's been really supportive and... And, like, I'm going up to Manchester this weekend to see my family. Spend some time with them and... But, I don't know, like, I... I like, realistically, I haven't got anything to be depressed about. But when you suffer from depression and you suffer from anxiety, it's not as easy just to say, oh, you know, I haven't got anything to be depressed about because whether you have or you haven't, that's... Like, you, your brain doesn't care about that. Your mind, your... Like, the hormones that are, that are disbalanced, which causes depression don't care about that it's just difficult so I haven't really felt like filming like yeah I went to the caravan this weekend and I was going to film a vlog and I thought oh, it would be dead nice like me and Jay having a weekend away but it got to the point where I was just like I don't, I don't know I just didn't want to do it I wanted to but I'm still nervous filming around Jay. And even though he's dead supportive, like, don't get me wrong, he's really supportive of it. And, like, every time I'm like, I've got a new subscriber, he's always really happy for me. Every time I get a new subscriber, I'm, like, mind blown that people are even pressing that button. Oh, look at it setting into my paws. Mm, you can tell now that this was only 79p. Maybe if I put some powder over it. We'll see. Okay, I'm just going to try and set this with some of my translucent powder. I did this makeup look a while ago. It's on my Instagram from 2015, so three years ago. Oh my god, three years ago. Oh, three, three years ago, two days ago, if you get what I mean. It was three years ago on Saturday since I put it up. I don't know what's going on with this face pain. And now I'm breathing in a load of powder. Never mind. Maybe I shouldn't have put the white face paint on for this one, but. There you go. We make mistakes. So I'm going to try and put some more on my top, more of the cream makeup on my top lip because that just isn't looking right at all. So. Jay wants me to turn him into a vampire. Uh, he doesn't want, he wants, he doesn't want to like talk on camera. But I said if I film it and um, if I film it and then it like turn the volume off and just have like creepy music behind it and like speed it up, then he might let me put it on. But he said I can film it and then when I've edited it, it'll let me know. But I might just put it up. Has anybody watched them, um, what is wrong with, what is with my top lip? Has anybody watched those ASMR videos? I've sat, well, I watched them a while ago and I just think they're a bit weird. They can be quite relaxing to be fair, but I just think they're a little bit strange. Okay, um, we're just gonna have to leave it like that I think. So first... I'm going to go to the eyes. If I'm looking over there again, it's because I've got the picture that I did a couple of years ago on the screen. So I'm going to do the eyes first. So I'm just going to take this liquid eyeliner. I'm just going to do a line across the top of my eye. This eyeliner is only a pound from Poundland. So if you want to do Halloween looks, if you want to do Halloween looks, then I think this is a good option because 
it's likely going to get ruined because you're using it over face paint and stuff. We had a lovely weekend in Wales so the weather was really bad and we were staying in like this really quiet place called Talica. Um and it was so much fun, like it was so nice just to spend time, me and Jay. So and now we're gonna go down and do like another it's like your eyelids bigger underneath. You'll see. So I'll put a line down there like that. And then a line down there like that and then you can join them together. And then you just jaw, you just make long eyelashes. Like this. Like that. So you do that and then you do the same on the other eye. But yeah, if you suffer from mental health issues and my inbox is always open, I know exactly how it feels. Right, now we're gonna do some a bit of mascara but just on the top lashes. Oh, I forgot to do my eyebrows as well, I need to do my eyebrows. Some mascara on the top lashes. leave the bottom lashes because they're going to act as your bottom lashes. So I'm just going in my usual collection eyebrow kit. Oh my god, look at my top and my hair. Oh. Um, with my usual collection um, makeup brow kit. And I'm just going to try and, well, try and do my brows. Even They're all covered up, but I'll try. Eyebrows should be sisters and not twins. The only things that should be twins are your eyeliner. If you're doing a winged eyeliner, they, they need to be twinned. But that's like 10 times easier said than done, isn't it? I am going to Cornwall in a couple of weeks, so I am going to vlog that week. Um, me and Jay are going, so I'm going to vlog that week. Got a week off work. We've all got, the people who've started with me, we've got like a week to book before Christmas. Um, and I'm not bothered about getting like loads of time over, over Christmas off. Um, I've got Christmas Day, Boxing Day and New Year's Day off, so that's fine with me really. Um, so yeah, I booked a week off to go to Carnival. So just done my brows as normal and now we're going to move on um, i'm just going to do a bit of contour on my cheeks um i didn't do this on the other one but i'm going to do it this time i might even contour my nose too you lucky lucky cats i'm sorry if you can tell that i'm not my normal self it just happens when you suffer with mental health issues doesn't it but i'm just going to contour a little bit I'm just using my MUA contour as usual. Can't afford the high end brands, me mate. God, it looks really weird on this colour. <laughs> and then just a bit on my forehead. My hair's washing out as well. I've got some purple shampoo, so I'm going to wash it with purple shampoo tonight. And um, hopefully this will wash out and start going grey or white. Which is what I'm hoping for. So I'm just contouring it underneath of my cheeks. Look at that sticking to the paint. Never mind. And here... God, it was two years ago now that I um, went to Thought Park dressed as Beyonce. How silly did I look, but never mind. All in Halloween spirit. 
Okay, so now we're doing the mouth, which is fun. So I'm just going to line my top lip as I would normally do and leave the bottom lip. So I'm not going to lipstick it, I'm just going to colour it in with this. This is not behaving like I want it to. It's taking off. There we go. So that's the top one. And now we need the liquid eyeliner again. Uh. We need the liquid eyeliner again. And this bottom lip is going to be teeth. So. I'm just going to take this and draw two lines down. And I'm going to turn my bottom lip into teeth. And then join them and now I'm gonna do like teeth lines going down oh teeth look well yellow with this on I'm sorry okay, and now we go down a little bit and across And colour that bit in. And then you're going to do another set of teeth and then the bottom lip. Okay, and now you just do the bottom lip with the lip liner again. Okay, and now I'm just going to use this and put a little bit of Russian red over the top. darken it a little bit and I'm just going to go in with my white eyeliner and just try and whiten the teeth and now you just need some freckles I've decided I don't like the mouth so I'm just going to make this bit bigger And there you have it. I'm sorry this one was a bit over, all over the place. Um, I've kind of changed things here and there with it. I didn't like how long my top teeth were, so I've changed it and I think it looks a lot better now that I've shortened the teeth. Um, and it actually looks like I've got an open mouth. So yeah, this is my ventriloquist doll makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm sorry that it's all over the place, but what can I do? Sometimes it just doesn't go right, does it? And now I've got lipstick all over, but there you go. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching.